Good morning. This is my third day of third full day of owning the 2018 second generation Chevy Volt. It has 50,900 and some odd miles. Today I'm going to do a test. I'm going to see how much battery degradation it has after 50,000 miles. I'm going 48 miles today to work and back. I'm going to have to run the heat a little bit this morning, I think. It's somewhere around 45 degrees. I know, you Yankees, that's a nice spring day. In Arkansas, that's cold. Or cold enough for most of us, a good portion of us. I have to run the heat just a little bit. So I think I'm going to uh, run through the whole battery today. I hope I do, or get darn close, because I want to see what kind of battery degradation we're looking at. <clears throat> you know, and one of the things I hear from people who have no idea how electric cars work is how often do you have to replace the battery? How much does the battery cost? Or as somebody told me uh, just a couple weeks ago, they said, you know, when calculating your cost per month, make sure you count for, you know, replacing the battery a couple of times within 100,000 miles. <clears throat> now, you can't blame them because it's just not stupidity but ignorance on how electric cars work. Just like I'm ignorant when it comes to string theory. I have no idea how it works. Don't care how it works. You know, it's the same with electric cars. Most people just make assumptions that absolutely are not true. They know, you know, they, they have evidence that their cell phone batteries do not last that long. So they just assume it's the same with car batteries, but it's completely different not counting the first generation Nissan Leaf and a couple others. Most of them like, like uh, this car it has 18 kilowatt hour battery. They allow you to use 14. There's four kilowatt hours in reserve at the top and the bottom because it's not good for batteries to be completely full. It's not good for them to be completely empty. So when this car is 100%, it's actually only, you know, 100% of 14 kilowatts, not the regular capacity. That's one of the things they do to protect the batteries. Another, most of them, including this one, has a gel pack around the battery and even sitting on the parking lot. If there's juice in the battery, you can't do it if the battery's dead, then it gets too cold, it'll send warm air to the battery to warm it up. If it gets too hot, send cool air to the battery to cool it down. The bottom line is these batteries usually last a long time. Now, you can find outliers. And every single time there's a Tesla or another EV that had to have the battery replaced at 50,000 miles, oh, there you go, there you go. These things are junk. Although, if there's a Chevy truck or SUV that has to have the engine replaced or rebuilt at 50,000 miles, well, you know, that's just not normal. That's just an outlier, which is true. But it's an outlier for gas cars, but not for electric cars. You know, but... The bottom line is, we're going to see how much degradation it has. And there are a lot of EVs out there with well over 100,000 miles with very little battery degradation because of the technology in them and the fact that they don't put cell phone batteries in them. You know, people would be shocked if they knew the truth. And some people don't want to know the truth. But some do, and they're just ignorant. Not stupid, ignorant. Because they have not studied electric cars. They have not looked at them. They, they either don't care or they're not interested, just like I'm not interested in string theory, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna pre-start the car and uh, see what happens. Let's go. I don't know if you can hear this on the phone's microphone, the camera's microphone, but you hear that? I believe that's the heater running. Now with most modern cars, if you have a 50 amp breaker like I do, then right now you'd be using your home's electricity. But that is a 50 amp breaker, but a 16 amp cord. I did that to save money. That cord was like 180 bucks instead of five, six, 700 for a charging station. But it doesn't matter because the Volt, they were short-sighted and put 3.6 kilowatt hour chargers on board. I think, I'm almost sure that's true in these 2018s, where most companies were doing 7.2 at the time. So, while most electric cars, if I had a proper station, with that 50 amp plug, it get about 25 miles for every hour it's plugged up. This car gets about 12 miles for every hour it's plugged up. So therefore, I don't think that can keep up with the heater. So it probably is using some battery right now. Oh yeah, it's nice and toasty in here. 
which I was hoping it would be because I did not have the HVAC on when I HVAC on when I shut it off last night. Most cars don't matter. If the temperatures blow a certain amount, it'll start still turn the heat on if you pre-start it. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at here. Let's look at the energy. Yep, see so I used 0.4 kilowatt hours heating the car because the car's charging system on board, you know, it couldn't take in enough energy to replace what it was expelling for the heat. Okay, let's go. 48, 48 mile range, I think we'll get more than that, barely. By the way, this flickering you see is not what's happening. It's just my phone. I need to figure out how to fix that. I get closer and it stops. You know, it has something to do with frame rate or something, I think. But the car does not flicker, the instrument panel. It's the phone. But I got to work, 30 miles left. I don't think I'm going to use all the battery. I, I ran the heat for probably two minutes. Other than that, I left the heated steering wheel on, which works phenomenally well, and the heated seats. Had them on high, then medium, then low, and they worked really well also. So we use 6.2 kilowatt hours. We're not gonna use all the battery, but I'll get close enough I can kinda of see what the degradation is. You know, and you know, speaking of the battery, for those that say you've got to replace the battery a couple times on 100,000 miles, almost every EV comes with a eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on the battery. So I don't have to worry about it, but we learned from the Nissan Leaf I had, good luck getting the battery if it had to be replaced, right? The Nissan Leaf, the heat pump went out and they said it could take months to get the new heat pump in. Months because parts are so back ordered. Can you imagine trying to get a battery for a vote? I'm not saying it wouldn't happen. Maybe they have some in stock, you know, at the warehouse, but I'd be worried about it. But anyway, no battery replacement necessary. And what do you think? 99% of all electric cars made no battery swap necessary in 150,000 miles, probably. The, the electric cars have gone 150,000 miles. What percent do you think have had, had a battery replaced because of major degradation? I have no idea, but my wild guess is 1%. And that, that's just a wild guess. I really don't know. I, I guarantee it's not too many. I'm going to work a few hours, then go home. It's cold. It's 52, but it feels like temperature is 46. I'm going to have to run the heat just a little bit on the way home. Ooh. I did pre-start the car, though, from my app. 30 miles of range, 24 miles to home. Just almost home. 98% battery used. 13.4 kilowatt hours. Well, 1% of 13.4 is 1.134, so that's about a quarter, about 0.268, you know, left. So 13.4 plus 0.268, that's uh, gonna be about 13 point, I'll just move to 13.5. So uh, that's about, I can normally do this, but I'm trying to concentrate on the road. Let me pull over so I can actually think about it. Okay, 13.5, that's 2.7, 0.27. So, about 13.8. 13 and three quarters of 13.8 is my kilowatt hours left in the battery. Supposed to be 14 when it left the factory. So we're gonna say about 0.2, maybe a quarter of a kilowatt hour loss. That's not bad. That would be about 2%. 2% loss in 50,000 miles. 2% degradation in 50,000 miles. And we still have two, I really believe we could, might could get more than that. If we were completely out, I think it may get all the way to 13.9. But I'm saying on this one test, it looks like the most degradation. This battery is gonna show us about 2%. over 50,000 miles. So that's what a lot of EV haters and people who just don't know about EVs, 
That's why they don't understand. These batteries have a lot of technology in them. They don't just slap a cell phone battery in them. Anyway, I'm home. Y'all be good. And thanks for riding along with me. Now you know, 2% battery degradation, more or less, on a 2018 Chevy Volt.